Hello, hello, everybody. Taryn Reeves, the CEO and founder of Four Eagles Publishing and the publishing house Concierge. And today I'm joined by one of my beautiful authors, Bonnie Schutt. How are you, Bonnie? I'm very good. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm pretty sure I just pronounced your last name wrong again. It's Schutt. <laughs> Shuts. 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 Yes. <laughs> no problem. I don't know why I keep to pronounce it incorrectly. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Now, Bonnie is the founder, CEO, COO, all the things at Tandem Resource Solutions. So Tandem Resource Solutions is an everything admin company providing virtual assistant services, administ administrative recruiting for different higher admin roles, resume writing, EA, VEA mentorship, and more. Bonnie works with all types of people but has a special place in her heart for women in business. Her team is diverse across nationalities, ages, and localities. Many are single mothers, stay-at-home moms, military wives, and women who have been aged out of their corporate roles but still have so much to give. She is compassionate, nurturing, and empathetic business owner coming off over 27 years working as an executive assistant in the corporate world. She has overcome adversity in her 20s, married an alcoholic, faced a decade as a single parent, and overcome obstacles to become happier and more focused on what she wants to accomplish in her second act. What a journey, Bonnie. Tell me all about... Um, your journey from, I suppose, being an executive assistant in corporate and starting Tandem Resource Solutions. How was that? How did that come about? Uh, well, let me see where to start. So I was quite <laughs> satisfied as an executive assistant in corporate. Um, it was a very fulfilling career. Um, nothing bad about it whatsoever. Uh, I just got to a certain age, <laughs> certain came of age. Um, mm -hmm. where it, it started to become not enough for me. And so I wanted something more. And at the time I was assisting a CEO of a software company, which was the highest level an administrative professional could be. So uh, there was no place for me to go. Um, uh, I think this, my stars aligned, I like to say. And um, something happened at the office that I wasn't happy about. And it just kind of gave me that kick in, in the butt, so to speak, uh, sure. to, to think about what it was that I wanted. So I came home and I spoke to my husband and I said, I need more. I need something else. So he was aware of it. Um, I started speaking to my friend in the office who was the office recruiter. Mm -hmm. And she said, Bonnie, you know, slap me in the head. Bonnie, you have been doing this for so many years. Why don't you recruit? And I, you know, that never occurred to me. And I said, well, well let's do it. So mm -hmm. she and I started Tandem as a 100% side hustle outside of our full-time job, um, just recruiting administrative people. And she was on the technical side. So she was recruiting develop developers and technical people. So uh, a little while in, we quickly learned that through our networking and through speaking to successful entrepreneurs and, and just, you know, high level business people that the only mm -hmm. way we were going to make our company work was if we gave it a hundred percent. She was in a different place in her life um, where she could not quit her job. And I, you know, that's fine. I understand that I have definitely been there, um, but I could, I was fortunate enough to have a husband working full-time with insurance and things like that, that we needed. And, you know, with his support, um, I went into my boss and I said, boss, I love what you did with your company. And I want to be just like you when I grow up. So, <laughs> um, you know, build them up first, you know, <laughs> so yeah. that they can't have a negative reaction. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I said, I want to start a million, multi-million dollar company too. And uh, here's my one month notice. Um, I'm going to quit and do my, my company full time. He loved it. <laughs> he was super yeah. supportive. And right. so I did it. I just took that leap of faith and quit my job in 2017 um, and started 100% into Tandem Resource Solutions um, fully as a recruiter. But mm. I, qu I quickly turned to I needed something in between recruitments to sustain me. 
And I had heard of virtual assistants, uh, had no idea if it was a legitimate profession. Um, mm -hmm. I honestly, my opinion was that it was a, a call center in the Philippines. <laughs> like that's yeah. what virtual assistants were. I had no idea. So, yeah. um, yeah. I just went and I, I looked, um, on the advertisements, uh, online and we have a, in the U S we have a site that those in the U S will be very familiar with and it's called Craigslist. And it's just mm -hmm. a, a list for every city and every state to find jobs and it's it's less expensive and it's you know just a really easy platform to find jobs well i replied to a virtual assistant position i thought darn it i've been a virtual assistant in my whole career because i had bosses that were traveling and mm -hmm. so um i thought let's do this so i applied and i got that position and uh started working it it came rather easily i mean not to brag yeah. <laughs> um, it came easily because it was just what i've been doing right yeah. i've been doing it for so long anyway uh, it was different because i had to consider them a client rather than a boss and i yes. was the boss um i could schedule my own time and do my own thing um and so um that was that went okay for me but what i started to do was put it out there to the world that i had started this company and what I was doing and that I became a virtual assistant if anybody needed help. Well, instead of gaining clients or find, getting interest from clients, I got interest from friends and family and ex-colleagues and coworkers and everybody coming saying, I want to work for you. I want to do that too. I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, really? You mean, and I don't have to do it? <laughs> of course yeah. we could do that. Yeah. So my second partner at the time and I saw, said, let's do this. Let's build a VA agency. Mm -hmm. And so now um, I am on my own again. That the same situation with that second partner, lessons learned. Um, I'm on my own and been doing it successfully now for almost six years. I have yeah. the virtual assistance business has just boomed. Um, during COVID, <laughs> as we were already the virtual experts, right? And then I still do the recruiting for direct hire administrative positions. And that's kind of where I'm at. <laughs> oh, wow. As short as I can keep it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's such an amazing journey. And um, your VAs, do you offer specific services um, to specific people, or is it kind of like your? really big and you've got experts in kind of all of the things for online businesses. Right. Um, we are a general VA agency, meaning okay. we can support in almost any fashion, um, mm -hmm. but we do have levels of virtual assistants. So we have what I call the VA, who is intermediate skill set. And then we have a VEA, who could be like someone that's come from corporate America like myself or yep. someone that's a virtual assistant who has successfully supported five plus clients for five years or more. So there's a yep. couple different levels and it clients vary on what they want with the level of VA and the experience needed. But then we also have those in subcategories. So they have specialties, like they might specialize in SEO or um, in social media or admin work. So then we have those about five subcategories um, that people will yes. find on our website that they can choose from for specific yeah, support. Amazing. That's that's so good. And tell me more about the um, the mentorship for executive assistants. Yeah, um, that was just some, kind of something that fell in my lap. Um, yep. Just as I discovered in supporting the VAs on my team, I really like to coach. Um, and just impart upon them the things that have happened during my career and and just say, boy, if I would have had a mentor or somebody to tell me that when I was young, um, you know, let's do this. So uh, I started with a couple of free mentorships <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I quickly realized it was a, a large time investment and I was pulled in so many different directions that I changed it to a, a paid service, uh, mm -hmm. you know, very reasonably paid service um sure. and uh it just started happening through a facebook group uh that i'm in for executive assistants and many mm -hmm. of them wanted to pivot their lives and their careers to virtual you know especially again during covid so yeah. um, it just materialized and then i started getting referrals 
Um, in fact, this last week I got my first mentee that came back to me and said she got her dream job and she like attributed it all to me. So it's been oh, like a wonderful, most fulfilling thing for me. Um, I'm also um, on the advisory board of the Association of Virtual Assistants. And okay. so I reached out to my fellow advisory board members and asked them to join my team as mentors. And there's five of us now on the mentorship team. Amazing. That's mm -hmm. so, such a beautiful story of business growth. Congratulations. I know that Thank that must you. have been quite a journey um, for <laughs> you to arrive at. So well done to you. Now, you are writing a chapter inside of a book called Phoenix Rising that my publishing company is um, releasing in September. Tell me about the writing experience for you, because I know that when we first met, um, you were like, oh, no, I'm not a writer. I don't even read. <laughs> Tell me how the experience was for you. Yes. So I just feel like it was rather a bit of faith, Taryn, honestly. Um, it was just, when you reached out to me, it was like perfect timing in my mind. Um, I have always loved to write and truth be told, I never read. <laughs> I am not yeah. someone to join a book club. I have books back there, but they're for, they're for appearances. No, yeah. <laughs> I will like skim through some pages to find if they're informational, find things, but, um, you know, I could tell you the only books I've read in the last, this is going to be kind of funny and a little off color, but the only books I've honestly read in my adult life are the Fifty Shades of Grey books. <laughs> oh, those are good books though, right? I'm a fan. They're the only ones I've read. <laughs> that, does that say what kind of person I am? That's horrible. Not um, at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, and you noticed, I think when I posted that I was going to be a part of this book. A very good friend of mine, she's like, congratulations, but you don't even read. <laughs> and she knew me that well. Um, you know, I'm finding that as a business person, I'm starting to delve into reading more just to get educated. And so because I've always loved to write and I'll read my own things, um, I thought, perfect timing. Thank you. It was like total fate. And I uh, thank you for that because it got me out of that imposter syndrome or fear of actually doing it um, and starting slow and starting with chapters instead of a full book is a great, you know, introductory type way for me to get into it. And so mm -hmm. I, all I've written in the past are blogs for my VA website um, and, you know, social media posts. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I haven't read, written much else. Um, yeah, but I was always told I had a great story to tell. So now I'm telling it. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And, you know, it, it's just proof that you don't have to be a professional writer or be, you know, obsessed with books or anything like that to be an author and to use storytelling in your business because storytelling is the best teaching tool, right? So when you're mentoring your um, VAs or EAs, and you're wanting to tell them something, you would likely use story, yes, rather than really bland data. It's It gets right. the point across and they remember story or, and they remember more relatable emotional content rather than just, you know, really bland statistics and facts, I guess. It's exactly. just the way the human um, psyche works. And when you were writing, how did you find the process? I, I loved it. I mean, you've been super supportive and I appreciate you for that. Um, I had the story in my mind. I attended one of your uh, workshops or your lives or, and it, you helped me with one paragraph. And I think just that one paragraph that you helped me with, it got me to see the process in a different way. Um, mm -hmm. especially trying to keep it to a certain number count, which you told me <laughs> not to get too hung up on um, because I could go on and on. But I'll be mm -hmm. quite honest, like during the process, um, every time that I would write a, a paragraph, I'd be like, I could write a whole chapter on that paragraph. And yeah. so it's definitely got me thinking about my own book at this point um, mm -hmm. and taking what I've written for this chapter and turning it into a, a you know, a full on book. So it was yeah. very inspiring and I love doing it. So it's 
It was after hours work when I wasn't being distracted all day by clients and, and VAs. Oh, it's okay. Whichever one you want. Okay. Okay. Sorry. We're in lockdown. Oh, I miss yeah, <laughs> we're in lockdown again, so I've got my five-year-old home, um, so it's oh been a bit goodness. of a juggle. Yeah, it's fun. Um, it is so interesting, you know, you, you start this journey out often in a multi-author book project going, oh, my God, how am I going to write a whole chapter? And then you start writing, and like you said, it's, oh, I could write a whole chapter on just that one paragraph. And that's what a book is, right? And that's why right. the multi book projects are such a beautiful stepping stone towards a solo book or towards a lead magnet type book for your business. Yes, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I well, I can't wait it. <laughs> your solo book come out eventually because I know that you're going you know to where I'll there. come when I need help. <laughs> I love that. And um, what are you hoping to achieve from writing in this multi author project? Sure, sure. Well, you know, the multi-author book is wonderful. Um, I'd like to get other perspectives, see other women's stories, and just, you know, gain some insight to, to what other things people have been through. Um, I would like, I would, of course, love to attract clients that my story may resonate with, of course. Um, mm -hmm. And then if I can help one person get through some kind of traumatic event in their life and know that you're going to come through on the other side in a better place, um, that that'll just be like <laughs> that'll just touch my heart you know if i could have a little bit of feedback that wow you went through that now look at you um mm -hmm. i hope to inspire at least you know that yeah. clients is one thing <laughs> which is a lovely thing to have but inspiration and what's coming from the heart like in my mentorships that speaks to me at this time in my life yeah amazing absolutely perfect and if any of you are listening and have been inspired by what Bonnie has had to say about writing in a multi-author book project we do have our current multi-author book project corporate dropouts from employee to entrepreneur currently open for enrollment so if you are wanting to explore experience this and to really grow your business through the art of storytelling and inspire others and and grow your reach and your connection with other women in business then this is absolutely the platform to do it so if you are interested in that please do contact me via the website or via private message whatever you like to chat about that opportunity Thank you so much for joining me today, Bonnie. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. And I know that people listening would have enjoyed it too. So thank you for being here. Thank you. It's so have good to speak day. to you, Sharon. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Uh -huh. Bye. -bye.